Millie Jackson's breakout track, It Hurts So Good, soundtracked the bedroom scene of 1973 film Cleopatra yeah. Jones. Jackson built a career telling it like it is. She was billed as the female Richard Pryor. with me was the women came to see me. The men hated me. And on Saturday morning, when the men done stayed out all night, Friday night, the women would be doing Saturday chores playing Millie Jackson because they letting their old man know, I'm playing Millie Jackson today. You didn't come in last night. Too damn bad you go hear Millie Jackson. always been a person that if it came up, it came out. So that was it. No long time planning or anything to do it. And I never took the music lessons, so I talked my way out of everything. That's why I had a rap. No kissy on the belly button and stopping. So I just talk. That's a no-no. Millie Jackson gets the reputation now as kind of the queen of raunch. Yeah. Um, when you think about some of her late, late 1970s albums and stuff she's doing in the 1980s, she's pushing all kinds of boundaries, right? And, and it makes sense. She's looking at Teddy Pendergrass, Marvin Gaye. She makes a decision that she should be able to do that too. Right. She wasn't trying to be Diana Ross. She wasn't trying to be Aretha Franklin. She was trying to create her own lane. In case there is someone out there who is so slow, they have not yet realized what parte means. In order to parte, you must be a kissable chap. You must be willing to kiss below the belly button and above the kneecap. Anywhere in this immediate vicinity, right on. I was just copying what the men were doing. I didn't like what the women were doing. The women was too prissy, you know. I like, the guys had all the soul. Soft and warm. 